for me when a babe this topic is difficult because i'm becoming more public i'm on the podcast i'm on our youtube channel i get mm. and i'm starting to become very aware of what it is that we are putting out there about ourselves mm-hmm. you see and though it's been exciting to get on camera and finally be confident and speak mm. i find myself thinking quite a lot that, okay so people now know that about me people now know that people now know that and so i feel very open very exposed very vulnerable and this topic that we're about to have is one such topic that will be on my mind or wow so we've spoken about that and people now know us so intimately but it's fine it's for a good cause like yes that's the whole purpose as to why we did i don't think we have to mention this really it gets very uncomfortable i could see ringa yara ba jwang <laughs> That's why I say Hori, mm. there are some things you don't necessarily have to say. Mm. You don't have to. Okay. Mm. All right. What's up everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode. Mogera Pulushi. My name is Neo Pulushi and I'm once again with my baby. Ndi <laughs> Melin Pulushi. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Go back and watch our previous videos. Get to know us. We're still mm-hmm. quite fresh on YouTube, right? Yes. Like the video, comment, and share. And share. We'd like to speak to you. Speak to us. Ask us questions, and we'd like to make videos about your questions yes. in future. <laughs> Today we're having a topic about marriage. and how it is to mm. be married what's it like to be married what is it like when a baby <laughs> oh what's it like for you i should go first go I first to first answer this question yeah you tell me first why me cuz i'm nervous <laughs> <laughs> so you should break the ice yeah break the ice when mm. a baby mm. okay um For me, you know, um marriage has been it has been difficult of course, mm. you know, but it is it's something that I cherish with all my heart. Mm. I've given my whole heart and life to it. Mm. And that is because um when I grew up, mm. you know, I grew up in a home where there was no marriage, you know, I didn't have role models. that i look up to or nebanyetse you know so mm. i had a fairy tale about what marriage was mm. you understand so when we got married mm. and we moved in together and that fairy tale mm. was demolished <laughs> mm-hmm. not really is it demolished is it a proper word <laughs> well, those expectations went met Exactly. Yeah. The expectations weren't met. Mm. Yes. So I can also say that it is it's been a journey worth taking, mm. you know. It's been a road that I still enjoy traveling. Mm. Mm. You know, cuz you start to understand your purpose as you're traveling that road. Mm. You start to understand yourself. Mm. and the purpose that God has for you mm. you know because most of us when we grow up we think um maybe i don't want to get married because of certain reasons and everything like that but eventually when you get married and those negative thoughts that you had before you got married they start to become a problem in in your relationship or your marriage mm. you know so that's what i went through that's what i ex- experienced in our marriage mm. you know i didn't know myself i mm. didn't know who i who i was mm. and what i wanted mm. so i had no 
put I had no strength mm. to build a proper foundation for my marriage. Mm. So that's why it was so difficult. Mm. You know, but now as time goes on and I'm really traveling this road with you, mm. you know, I'm 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 happy for it. Mm. I'm glad for it. So I can say that it has been difficult, but it's not the difficulty that that one can say, um, I'm going to give up. Mm. No. It's a road that, you know, would say, I'm going to travel. You know, mm. it's a long road. So, mm. I mean, it's a long trip. Mm. It's a long trip, you see. Mm. But because you know, when you get to Deben, you're going to be happy. You're going to a vacation. Mm. Marriage is like that. Mm. You know, it's not easy to start something. Imagine me and you've been together. This year will be ten years, mm -hmm. and you've been to, you've been married for three and a half years. Mm. So we've known each other since our early stage, since I was sixteen. Yeah. You were twenty-two. You mm. Understand? So I cannot say right now because of the difficulties that we faced. Mm. I'm giving up. Mm. Well, for me. It's been difficult, but marriage has raised me, you know. I grew up in a home where my mom and my dad are married, still married, till today. Mm. I wanted to get married. And... When we got married, we knew each other for some time. Mm. I, guess, I guess we were in our sixth or seventh year together. Yeah, I think maybe it was sixth year. Yeah, the, probably the sixth year. Yeah. You know? mm. And so I thought when I Waka that I've known you enough to know <laughs> everything that can be expected. Yes. So I was shocked <laughs> when we got married and so many things that I thought these cannot show up. And they actually showed up. Those sort of things showed up. Mm -hmm. You see. And one of these is your expectations Agar, mm. for the marriage and what it was going to be. Mm. For me, it clashed with what I knew marriage to be, mm. you see, because you, I guess, had a vision of a marriage where things are fiery, going on a date, you know. It's yes. like a professional... Guri, I think you viewed marriage, marriage as professional mojolo, so... It would be mujolo, even bigger. Yes, and that's and that's also because how the world mm. or the standard of the world, you know, mm. from a young age as a girl, mm. you know, from seeing magazines, mm. you just see flowers, roses, mm. big house, cars, yeah, associated with marriage. Mm. But no one ever shows you the conflicts, mm. the arguments. Mm. You know, the habits that go on. Mm. So, we found ourselves in a situation where I, coming from a home where there's a father, I was ready to now step into fatherhood. Right? Mm. And you were kind of on a different frequency. Mm. You see, you... So the game plan just went <laughs> you see mm. but anyway <clears throat> when I despite the difficulties mm -hmm. marriage has come with a lot of benefits yes you see we've got our children it's a blessed union <clears throat> it's a covenant that God 
um, has ordained ordained mm. Ne? Mm. and so in it we've gotten to see a lot of spiritual things mm. we've actually grown spiritually mm. Mm. so one way I can put it quite simply is our marriage has come across so much opposition right yes. from family members from your friends from my friends mm. and for me that was really shocking or why would people be so much against family why would they be against the union mm. it absolutely makes sense for you and i to get married we've been together for a long time it doesn't seem like we're breaking up at the time when we got married, we had our son. He was four at the time, ne? Mm. So it came to really shock me to see how much people were opposed to this. Mm. When it just makes sense for marriage to be appreciated and to be welcomed by people and for people to encourage us to carry on in it. So that's when I realized that this is something spiritual. It's the spirit of the earth, Antol. Yes, that is true. Because people, when you get married, you know, people or your friends mm. or your family, they mm. have certain expectations which are the standard of the world in which they want your, your marriage to be driven with. Mm. And when you do not conform to those standards, it becomes a problem. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so seeing how the world was opposed to this said to me that this has to be something that is good. This has to be something that is beneficial. Mm. Mm. That is cherished. This is something that we have to cherish and keep close to us. Mm. So, when I think about our marriage, when I be, mm. and how it has gone, a lot of things, a lot of the good that I've seen about it has come from the negativity that I've seen the world treating us with. Mm. You see, mm. so it's kind of difficult for me to to put it across. You know, it's kind of difficult for me to say the pleasure of marriage and the goodness of it. Mm. You know, marriage being worthwhile mm. can be seen from all of these other negatives. It's it's very difficult to describe that. And for somebody who is watching this, I think, to understand it. Mm. Because I think I know that we're speaking to a lot more single people than, than the married people. The married people would be able to understand that this hardship that you go through is similar to the hardship of getting a degree. Yeah, you know, even... It's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, simply trying to achieve something in your life, you know. Yes, all things that are great come with a lot of pain exactly. and effort. Even the business mm. that I've chosen, mm. you know, the career path, the lifestyle that I've chosen mm. is difficult. Mm. But I know that it's worthwhile. Exactly. Is this going to make sense? Is this making sense, you know, babe? It is making sense. You you don't don't forget it, okay? How about you? You're an overthinker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm overthinking. Yeah, man. I think <laughs> this is something that is um, clear to get. Mm. If not, we'll do another video where we elaborate. Yeah, because some further. of the points that we're talking about here mm. are going to be points that we'll speak about maybe in later 
videos hmm. specifically saying Guti, today we'll be talking about habits hmm. you know hmm. today we'll be talking about curfew because hmm. those are some of the things that make the I mean make marriage hmm. you know to be difficult hmm. you know when someone asks you a question Guti, what is it like being married and you're like, it's difficult. Then like, what's difficult? Mm. Then you have to elaborate on that to say that it's two different people, mm. two different individuals mm. coming together and saying that we are going to form a union. Mm. Even in, in an organization, in a team, mm. it's different individuals, but they have to be a team. They have to be an organization. Mm. They'll firstly clash before they get along. Mm. So, Anabe, does this not sound like marriage is just difficult and people in it are just bearing, you know? Are surviving. Yeah. No, it's actually not like that. And that's what I'm afraid, I get mm. That's the the perception that I'm afraid to put out there, you see. We're still mm. going to do a whole lot of videos. I guess mm. I'm just overthinking this, and I'm and in my mind, I'm not seeing all of these many other positive videos and all of these positive things that we're still going to see. My mind is here right now, overthinking this. And I understand why your 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 perception would be that way. It is because. The world has described what marriage is, mm. you know, but it is only when we, the people who are married, mm. get to tell our story, mm. get to tell the truth from our experiences, mm. where your perception and other people's perceptions have to change, mm. you know, because I, for myself as an individual, I know that marriage is hard, mm. but not to the extent at which the world has received, you know, mm. to say marriage mm. in you know. Yeah, it's a place for no person to live. Mm. I don't know if it makes sense, but people are receiving a marriage to be like that, mm. you know. And some other people you can understand, maybe they've heard the the They've been in marriages that were toxic and everything like that. Mm. You understand? But truthfully speaking, mm. that's why I give an example of building a team. Mm. You cannot want to build a team and think that first day, mm. second day, mm. you know, you can zwana. Eh. <laughs> Have we been speaking that long? How long is it? 22 minutes. Oh, wow. It's not long enough. Mm. Four minutes left. Nizozwana, you understand? Mm. But there will always be clashes mm. because it's different characters coming together. Mm. And marriage is not just any union. Mm. It's a union that has been ordained by God to sanctify His holiness. Understand? So that road by itself, being a spiritual road, not just the physical of enjoying each other. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's the difficulty that I'm having. Né? The benefits of a marriage are spiritual and it's very difficult to explain these spiritual things, you know, this awakening, this clarity of mind, this support, you mm. know, being able to view life through your eyes, you see, mm. having worked with you for so long, mm. you know, since the time dating and including our marriage, mm. it's like I've lived two lives. Mm. I know how to think like you, mm. not fully, Wabon, mm. but... I've seen the world through your eyes. I've seen your experiences. I've felt your emotions. I've listened to your stories. Mm. You know how they say 
live by other people's mistakes because your life is not long enough yes, to live to out live your to own mistakes. all of those mistakes and learn from, from them. them yes. The best way to one of the best ways to go through life and learn is to learn firstly from your parents and then learn from the partner that you partner. are working with. Mm. To describe that to people who are not married, people who are thinking that marriage is going on dates, it's professional jollying, mm. you know, it's, um, it's roses, it's flowers, it's mm. all of these things. Mm. That's where I feel kind of defeated to <laughs> say, yes, our marriage has been difficult, but mm. the pleasures have been these ones because they are spiritual and it's difficult exactly. to explain that to people. It's hard to tell people that you've seen evidence of, of God in the marriage, in the marriage. because yes. you've seen Satan attack, attack this. Yes, exactly. Very difficult. But hey, before the camera cuts us, <laughs> I hope um, we've done justice to this episode. Yeah in the shortest time ever you know we are not dismissing the dates and everything guys mm. that is the cherry on top yeah but building a foundation you know mm. when you build a home mm. you have to first firstly build a foundation so that the home can be beautiful kids are nice man kids are nice yes. it's hard to to, to to communicate to people to say hey marriage is difficult but mm. the children in it yes. are very nice and they make the marriage nice. Nice. You see, because mm. people think kids are just poop and crying. <laughs> it's nice when our baby is crying at night and she's having nightmares, you know. Mm. You just pet her. <laughs> and you do it all the Those time. Those kind of things are nice. And that's a spiritual monarchy for me. Listen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Let's see you in the next video. Yes. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like for us to extend it, mm. please let us know. <laughs> let us know. Click like, subscribe. Let's see you next time. And comment. And comment. <laughs> I promise you, if this has been a bit negative, I don't think it has. Next time we'll stick to the juicy parts of marriage <laughs> and you see that this thing is nice today we just had to say to you that the reality firstly is that it's not so easy we'll see you next time bye sure <laughs>